Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty on the Beta 1 version of the mod. It is time to uh, continue liberating West Africa. For those of you who are not uh, familiar with the status in Africa, Northern Africa had been liberated. West and South essentially are still waiting for their liberation. And this here is the next step on the liberation. Today's SWAT will contain uh, Divat, who is leading a pretty fairly balanced SWAT uh, into combat, an assault uh, grandeur specialist, and an additional technician for some more cover removal. So that's all good and fine, but I think 25 enemies are probably a little bit too much to deal with. So what I'm going to do is we're boosting the infiltration here. Uh, that only reduced it to 19 to 21, which tells you that the baseline in West Africa at the moment is just very high. This is almost 150% infiltrated, mind you. Anyways, we're going to try our best. All right, we landed. Let's take a look. Got a building over here and apparently a larger hall. And that's a fairly long distance for only 13 rounds. Hmm. Let's start moving our sniper up. Haven't seen anything. And we need to take a risk here. Okay. That worked out well so far. Moving up with rec time. Really, I'm trying to get like everyone into a solid position. Let's do this. Double movement all across the team. Roger that. Not the best position, but for a double move first round it's okay we're definitely too slow here and one of the things that i could buy is the gts training that allows you to have plus three mobility in the first two rounds might not seem like much but essentially it'll just shorten the distance quite a bit And plus three mobility here would have meant that we probably could have reached this area up front here. I am concerned about the... Exactly that. I am concerned about the train here. Trains are usually not a good place to fight, guys. And this one here is no different. Four vipers. Hmm. Yeah, we're too far away to have a good round. Got it covered. For now, I would just want to move in, and that's about it. <laughs> nice. You can already see where the enemies are. They cluster up in the train. Moving everyone a bit closer. As with our sniper, I think this here is a good position. That's a decent one as well. I 
that's a bit far away and that's a bit close but since half cover is full cover for our sniper diva is moving in a bit closer that's fine gives him also decent aiming angles on the second opening here in the wall yeah there's the third pick great it's getting better and better Are the Vipers just going to stay there? No, they're moving out. Okay, all right. So we know there is a pack up here and we know there is a pack down there. Purely hypothetical speaking. If I was to completely fuck up the train. Like so. That'd be a problem. Going to hit everyone, right? Might as well do it in style. This is either one of my best or one of my worst ideas in a while. All right, let's see. At least the engine is calculating. Going hot. Come on. And it's on. The third pack did not trigger yet. Just for everyone's reference. We were to casually throw in a flashbang grenade. Whom could we hit? Like that's three of them. Okay, three of them at best. We know there's another pack back here, so we gotta be a bit careful. To not completely ruin this. Fortification for extra defenses. It never hurts to have just a bit more of uh, defenses. And this here should be a kill. I said crit, good job. Target disabled, baby.
Yeah, the surveillance drone is not really useful for us. We could go here and throw a flashbang in, essentially hitting two. What's the chance for hitting? Yeah, well, we can kill the surveillance drone, that's clear. Well, we could lay a kill zone. Not sure if it is the most effective use. Sentry for 50 50. Sector it for 50 50. Heavy Lancer for only 40%. Gosh, that's bad. Okay, well, I guess we could generally throw a flashbang in here, or alternatively, taking away some of the cover, right? Yet another alternative could be to hit both of them or just remove the cover here. Are we going to use all of our flashbangs uh, flash and grenades right away? We had 20 enemies and we just pulled like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Killed one. That's. We're going to have other difficult fights. Moving into cover here. We could hit, still hit both of these guys here with flashbang, which is a fair flashbang. We could even hit all three of them, which is pretty good flashbang. Which is probably what we're going to do to deal with all three of those guys. Moving up over here into half cover. It's the only half cover that we do have. Wanted to get out of light, line of sight from those two guys here. Let's see if we can get rid and kill the drone right away. Pretty sure we can't remove the wall. But yeah, at least the drone got killed. Few 50-50s. 
Let's go for the sentry and see if we can kill it. Fortunately a miss. And this is the best flashbang that we could use. Two down, six to go. The Viper is just suiciding. I'm not getting it. They are normally not just running in and completely suiciding. It's a highly reckless behavior. Almost stun lancer level of recklessness. The Vipers seem to have pretty decent aim. We might want to start with um, killing them. Well, there we go. Well, now we finally do have our complete pull scenario where we're fighting against yet again the entire map. That'll hit three of them. It's probably the best flashbang which that we could get. So it's probably even a better one because it kills the zombie. And this is probably the best one. Kills the zombie and takes out two of the vipers. Good, let's see what our sniper could do. Only targets that are somewhat in cover. I don't like that at all. Moving to here to get out of line of sight, falling back just a bit. This here should be a kill. No longer a threat. Burning through ammo fast. Yeah. I really want to charge in and F them up, but I know better than that. Yeah, they're already taken out of out of the fight. I 
Let's kill zone. Could move to here for cover. This is only a very limited amount of enemies. Fortunately, triggers another overwatch shot. Okay. What are we going to do with our assault? Full cover, maybe. simply wait it sucks that we can't reach anyone 90% odds to kill a sector here though which is pretty damn good We have any chance to remove the cover over here, maybe? Yeah, I think I'll prefer that shot here. There we go. One more Viper down. Because now what we can do is we can simply give Wolverine here a protocol. She's the one having the most enemies near her. And we're going for an overwatch. Stun Lancer will charge in. Hunger down? Very nice. That makes it even more difficult to hit her. She's hunkered down, overwatch, and full cover. Almost impossible to hit that. Plus, the enemies are blinded. Stun Lancer avoids everything. Our kill zone triggered exactly one shot so far. Pretty disappointing. Okay. Yeah, well, 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 well. It's 
we only have one turn. Might as well use it and kill that Sun Lancer. Let's just for safety measures put an evac down. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Uh, I would like to kill this one. High cover and defense. That is brutal. We only have one more grenade and we probably will need that. move all the way up here but that's automatically flanking next turn the viper would go here flank us move to here but without an aid protocol it's only half cover we have like what one two three four vipers two sectors and an advent left over Hmm. I mean, yet again, 90% chance we could kill this guy and call it a day. At some point we're going to run into problems for ignoring all of uh, them. I mean, we could be ballsy, kind of charge in here. That'll be a flanking position for this Viper. And we would provoke a bind next turn as the other Viper would just start to bind us. But that's also triggering potential flank from here. They are just lined up quite well and it is now a pretty frontal assault. Any sort of any sort of movement that I make can be countered. Except we would go like back here. Take half cover over here, and that's not counterable because we are essentially really at their flank. Let's try this. We can't stand here for extended amounts of time. It's just not gonna work. So this is triggering the overboard shot. Thanks to lightning reflexes, nothing happens. We're going in and we're starting the clean up the perch. Nice, advanced expanded magazine. Good. Very good. Need to kill this guy over here. Don't want to use our last grenade, we still need that. Hmm. 
almost 60 percent i much rather t almost take the uh, viper over here because she's she has way more firepower is there a way to flank her almost get into like here No, unfortunately not. Now we need to deal with him. I think we're in a decent position here. It's full cover from all sides. So, might as well take the 66%. Good. That's not bad because it frees up a lot of m movement next turn. We can move up here and essentially kill them. We don't have a suppression, which would techni technically be the right play. Moving to here is an option which would motivate the sector to move to here and flank us. Is the sector flank the worst thing in the world? Probably not. Yeah, let's be a bit more aggressive. Can't just stand there and let them bully us. Another 60% shot. Okay. Now down to three Vipers intersected. 54% or 43. There's a high percent chance that this is only grazing her. That might be even a full kill. Let's try it. Come on, buddy. Good job. Okay, so I got one. There's the flank. It's the shot into full cover. Good, very good. Good. They are becoming more and more desperate, which is fantastic. It's exactly what we wanted to achieve. Careful here, as it could pull another pack. I would be rather moving only to here. Being safe to not pull another pack. Come on, kill the Sidewinder. Good shot. Now that Viper is a problem. She really is. Okay.
could holo target her. Moving over here. Good enough. Let's kill him. Great. Another Larium core. So far it worked well. Even if we were holo targeting it, the thing is massive. Let's try to grace it at least. Or we're simply killing it, which I am absolutely fine with. Best potential outcome. Moving to designated position. Okay, wow. More difficult than I would have anticipated overall. We're not opening the door yet. So let's think that through. We've fought eight of them. At least that's what I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them, sorry. And there was a drone. Oh, I, oh, I counted that already. Nine. Okay. Nine gone. Eleven more to go. Moving to Overwatch. And soon reinforcements will appear. Now that's where the reinforcements are coming in. We gotta reload uh, this round. Heading to that location. Moving in without triggering something. We have an auto loader, that's fine. Um, Yeah, there are two ways of going about it. Either we fight through this very small opening, or we put the sniper up here and say fuck it, right? He did not have any high ground yet, so... On the other hand... We need to kill the reinforcements. Let's overwatch. overwatch. Because another problem is we're running out of time. Scanning. Overwatch. Everyone's on overwatch. Best case, the reinforcements land right in the middle of us. Worst case, they are just landing somewhere. Which resulted in a wasted turn. Should have moved the sniper. All right, time to open the door. I said time to open the door. Moving into the next full cover. Yeah, 
I already know that there are going to be a lot of enemies back there, but we only have six more turns, so... Uh, this is going to be pretty difficult. We're going to trigger them. Yeah, we're not taking 20% shots. This is why we do have cover removal. Okay, moving in further. Moving out. Time to fortify ourselves. Let's kill the scout. Enemy eliminated. Very nice. By thinking about it, I much rather want to go up here. Good copy. Moving on target. Sniper moves in all the way over here. And Ragtime moves up to here, which allows him to either go upstairs next turn or do something else. And goes on to Overwatch. Pretty sure the explosion will pull another pack. Okay, the next pack is back there. More reinforcements, which was foreseeable. Alright, objective is inside. Time to be serious about finishing it. Took half its hit points and damage just from one shot, which is great. Yeah, we're dealing really decent amounts of damage. Affirmative, moving out. All right, move into here. And they should kill it. Great. Takes away the timer, which is so, so important. Menace 1-5, we've confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transport. 
Nomad's mission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. <laughs> There are additional reinforcements. Interestingly enough, it says extra just extract all XCOM soldiers. Doesn't even say anything about needing to kill anyone. Lots of sectors, be careful. Well, the panic will be gone after the round, so I'm not terribly afraid of that. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Yeah, reinforcements seem to be coming over and over, so. Might as well use the option here and just bail out. No need to ask twice. Right. Heading home. Pretty sure that should be a successful right. mission. I mean, we destroyed the alien relay. No need to fight them when it's not absolutely necessary. Of course I'm always down for a solid firefight, that's not the problem. But here we're going to see a lot of reinforcements coming in and we've already used most of our <clears throat> most of our cooldowns. Yeah, it worked. Mission complete. Whew, pretty good. I like it. Big fun. And we landed four promotions and only a few days off the hospital. That's great. So let's take a look with rec time. Um, I really like the improved flamethrower. I think we're going to go with that. It has two charges and it's pretty damn useful. Uh, that's really good. I like light him up, but he probably has enough points to afford both of it, specifically since he's a genius. Damn good ground is also really good for him. Oh, and he has center mass. Why did we give him small weapons uh, then? You know what? Let's give him damn good ground and I'll hand him a different weapon. He's going to be a bit slower, but we can actually use him as a really, really nice uh, soldier uh, together with uh, uh, light him up and rapid fire. Damn, back time is going to be good. All right, Wolverine, uh, rapid fire, not even a question. I like Shredder, so we're going to do that as well. Overdrive, please, medical protocol, yes, please. Fortify is great. Going to use uh, that. Such a strong ability. Good. In here, heat war heads all the way. Grenades now pierce two points of armor and shred an additional point of armor. That's exactly what we want. And I'm considering just giving her. The smoke ability as well. That's an additional grenade. 
which is great for her. Good, and we got ourselves about 40 supplies worth of loot. Plus, we continued on the liberation mission, so that was successful. Which immediately prompts the next uh, tower, so we got both of the network towers ready to go. We now got Vigilance 20 in this area. <laughs> oh boy. That is, I can tell you that is bad. We should, we should be doing this here rather soon. Vigilance 20, holy cow. Advent is not happy about our doings. Okay. We're going to go to South America and continue our scanning here. There were some casualties during that last covert action. Mobility increased by one, and we increased our faction standing, which is good. Gives us one more uh, order. Got another promotion here. Can't promote her anymore. I like the idea of a free promotion. And the 19 ability points are certainly helpful as well. But our staff is so thinned out. Do we have plus aim somewhere? I thought we had a plus three aim. Yeah, here. It's not a perfect bonus. But it is something. We could give it here to Hayward. The reward elsewise isn't particularly good, but getting her to 120, 25 aim is certainly worth it. Good, we're continuing to build the radio relay. You have brought many new faces to serve among your resistance. But they needed you more. And of course, the Avatar Pro project is progressing. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy Bradford is rubbing it in in his classical Bradford style. Take them down before they hit again. Like, yeah, thanks, Bradford. I think it would absolutely make sense if we're um, not losing the game. We currently have no new supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out new means of repair. And yet again, he's rubbing it in. We have no supplies coming in. Ah, I love Bradford. He's just making my day. Okay, so we got four assaults. Probably need another one. Plenty grenadiers. Bit short on gunners. Rangers are okay. One, two, three, four, five, six sharpshooters. One in training. One, two, three, four, five, six specialists. 
probably need another specialist. Probably need another specialist. And an assault. Okay, so we got rookies. This rookie here looks like a great assault. 15 movement. And a lot of dodge. Looks like the perfect assault. And Ariel here uh, pretty much looks like a specialist to me. Good, let's start with... Um, yeah, let's start with making her a specialist. Although, you know what? I changed my mind. We do have a few specialists. Let's get one more assault. Use the first. And we can wait with the specialist training just a bit longer. Um, soon the sniper is going to be trained anyways. Nice, very nice. Mechanical warfare. We've got the schematics, and our equipment is ready to begin assembly, Commander. Just give the word and we'll build the skull jack. There we go, guys. Sparks are ready to roll. 80 supplies. Yeah, not as not as expensive as I would have imagined, so we certainly can do that. How, how much are the plasma grenades? Because we really need those first. 75 supplies. Okay, we're going to get the supplies. And someone was ready for recruitment. Okay, a lot of things are happening at the same time. Let's get, uh, so we had a rookie that is ready for recruitment. That's great. We recruited another person over here. Let's continue our recruitment efforts and until we are at around 10 and we recruit and then we're switching half of them you know what no until we're at 12 and then we're switching everyone to supplies because that's how we roll um i want to go to the black market did you expect that i would be fearful of the news of your discovery you may be aware of my movements but it will change nothing Good. Moving over, we're selling a bunch of crap. Let's see. Yeah, I can we can get rid of a few mutant corpses. 75 and 20 that's 95 so we should be fine time for the plasma grenades we'll get started right away commander i'll send word when the project is complete And time to recruit yet another recruit. Got to grow the roster, baby. Got to grow the roster. Good. That's our first spark.
they made it so that it can actually use um, weapon upgrades. I think that's a pretty decent idea. Let me customize it real quick. There we go. That looks much more like an awesome mech. Nice little black um, color with caramel on it. So with the sparks, we do have um, another way of gaining additional units. We should definitely make use of it and level up a few of them. Having one of them in a SWAT from time to time is useful. And you just need to repair them, so it's good. And now that we do have um, plasma grenades on the way, that should uh, give our cover removal the, the necessary bump that, we, that it needed. Because with plasma grenades, things are looking pretty different. All of a sudden, shit is hopefully going to explode and we will have the option to remove cover. Operation Keystone down here is ready. We could continue to further infiltrate it, but I think that is not necessary. Zirkim and his troops will do us the honor and will uh, reduce the enemy's strength, plus capture some enemy material. That's going to be good. Guys, this is the end of uh, today's episode. As always, if you like what you've seen, just leave a comment down below or, and or click uh, the like button. Uh, that is very much appreciated. It uh, motivates me to keep the run alive and it supports the channel. Thank you and have a great evening. Bye-bye.